Hello all, welcome to part 10 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to create scenarios in the feature file and run them. So let's get started. In the previous session, I have practically demonstrated how to install Kukumbar Eclipse ID plugin with the help of that, we are able to recognize the feature files, open the feature files and work with them, right? Now, with this capability of working with the feature files, opening them and working with the feature files, in this session, I'm going to show you how to create the scenarios in such kind of feature files and run them, okay? So I'll go to the Eclipse ID. Here, we already have the feature file created as part of the previous sessions. If you want it to be there, that's fine. Otherwise, you can even delete, guys, okay? Delete and let's create it again. Let me right click on this, uh, login feature and delete this file. I'll show you how to freshly create the same file. Okay. Just for the sake of freshly creating, I'm just doing that. Okay. You can either continue with the same feature file or you can delete and uh, create no problem. Uh, right click on this package and select new and you have to select file guys. Okay. And here in this create new file dialog, you have to give the name of the feature file. Let's say login is the name of the feature file and the extension should be dot feature. Okay. You should not forget dot feature is the extension. Click on finish. The moment you click on finish, guys, you see Cucumber tool is identifying this feature file. That's the reason you are getting this icon. And you can see some auto-generated comments and uh, feature file content. Some scenarios are also coming by default. Okay, auto-generated feature is coming by default. I'll remove all this stuff. I'll clear all this stuff, guys. I'll freshly create. So for which uh, uh, user story or something, I'm creating this uh, login dot, uh, scenarios in the login dot feature file. So let me write down here. Okay, let's say there is a user story or requirement okay as a, a registered user as a registered user i want to log into the application this, this is a requirement guys okay log into the application so that i can access my account okay so that i can access my account so that i can access my account or check my account details or whatever you can write down here. Okay. So that I can check my account details. Okay. Or access my account details, whatever it is. Okay. This is a requirement. Guys, this kind of uh, requirement may come from the client uh, side PO business team. Okay. And uh, by looking at this requirement, we created this uh, feature file in the feature file for this particular requirement. We'll be creating a lot of scenarios guys. Okay. So how to do that? How to do that? I'm going to show you. So I'll say, so I'll take this uh, application ex ex as an example, guys. Okay, visually also you can understand this is the application I'm trying to use for, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, writing the scenarios. This is a login functionality, assume. So here I am writing the feature file. So I have to say feature colon. You see, the moment I type feature colon, the color got changed from black to some light greenish color. Okay, this means that Cucumber is able to identify this keyword. This keyword is from Gherkin language, as we already have covered in the previous sessions. There are different uh, Gherkin keywords, Gherkin language keywords that we'll be using for structuring this particular text and to make the Cucumber uh, identify and uh, run the scenarios and all the stuff, okay? Feature, the name of the feature we have to give, guys, okay? So, user login, okay? This is the name of the feature, let's say. Some description you can give under the feature, guys, okay? Some description, okay. User should be able to uh, registered user should be able to log in, okay, to access account details. Like this, some description. This is optional, guys. This the second line is optional, guys. If you want to write, you can write. Otherwise, you can ignore. Okay. This is a feature, and this is a description of this particular feature. And in this uh, feature. I'll create some scenarios guys. Okay. Scenario colon. The moment I say scenario colon, you see this is converted into the Gherkin keyword and the cucumber is identified this Gherkin keyword. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so what I will say is uh, scenario, I'll say login with login with valid credentials. So scenarios are like kind of test cases only guys. Okay. So the requirement uh, can be tested in multiple ways. Okay. With valid credentials, invalid credentials, invalid username, valid password, valid user, valid username and invalid password and without credentials and many other test cases exist as you know. Okay. But I will be writing some only few test cases here. 
only few test cases here. So we'll do one thing, uh, scenario login with valid credentials. I'll write uh, what I will write uh, here. I'll write given space. When you say given space, automatically this code converted into green color. This is also a Gherkin uh, language keyword. Given I open the, given user has opened, uh, user opens the application URL. I, okay, given user opens the application URL, or you can even say, uh, given user uh, navigates to login page, given user navigates to login page, and I not I, uh, when after navigating to login page, when user enters email address, Okay, so I'll give the email address here, guys. I'll give the email address as a valid email address. Okay, I'll say user enters valid email address, and here I'll give the valid email address. I can give, I can pass this data from here, guys. Okay, from the scenario step itself, I'll pass the data. This is the data I'm passing. Okay, this is the test data I'm giving in the same scenario. Uh, given when user enters valid email address and enters valid password, valid password and clicks on login button, then user should get successfully logged in. Okay, user should get successfully logged in. Otherwise, users should log in successfully. Should log in successfully. Whatever you feel convenient, you can write in your way. In your way, okay. You can create any other uh, any uh, lot of scenarios, guys. Like uh, the number of test cases you can like uh, that are possible for this particular feature. Okay, you can keep on writing. Guys. Second scenario. Again, scenario colon scenario colon and uh, log in with. Uh, invalid credentials. I'll write a bit fast now. Okay. Given user navigates to login page when user enters uh, invalid email address. I'll give some invalid email address. Okay. This invalid email address and enter. Uh, invalid password, enter invalid password. Then I clicks on login button. Then user should not get, otherwise I'll say then user should get a proper Warning message. You should get a proper warning message. Okay. Uh, user login should not be successful. Otherwise, user should. Okay. User should get a proper warning message. Okay, that is enough. Okay, that's fine. I'll not make it complex. As a scenario, colon, login with valid email address and invalid password. It's third scenario. Like this, keep on creating the scenarios, guys. User navigates to login page when user uh, enters Valid email address. And enters invalid password. And clicks on login button. Then user should get a proper warning message okay like this 
scenario login with invalid email address and valid password okay valid passwords given user navigates navigates to login page when user enters invalid email address the invalid email address i enter senders enters valid password okay and clicks on login button then user should get a proper warning message okay like this i'll write and one more scenario i'll write scenario login mm, without providing any credentials given user navigates to login page when user enters invalid email address that is this invalid email address i enters sorry login without uh, providing any credentials right uh, when user don't enter any credentials and clicks on login button then user should get a proper should get a proper warning message like this i'll write so how many scenarios have written one two three four five scenarios so you can write any number of scenarios guys uh, five is not five is just uh, you know right few sample count you can say for this uh, a demonstration or explanation you can say so this is how we have to create the feature file guys feature and uh, description of the feature scenarios given when and then but also can be there okay in uh, opposite uh, and is a positive format whereas but is a uh, kind of negative format okay so but uh, whenever there is a requirement we'll write but otherwise uh, it's not required for now let's write like this uh, just to get started this much is good five scenarios as a sample i created i can create few more feature files for other functionalities like restart.feature i can create i can create uh, search.feature all the functionalities for every functionality i can create a separate feature file okay for now just to get started guys uh, because we are not in a hurry we'll be going step by step i have just created a feature file only for the login functionality here so now i want to run this right click on this login.feature and select run as you are getting an option like cucumber feature guys okay just select that option cucumber feature option let's see what will happen is there anything happening does it uh, it doesn't look so okay i cannot see something happening okay i'll right click here also and say run as cucumber feature you see could not find or load cucumber dot api cli main class not found cucumber api some some kind of error is coming I'll do one thing. I'll just check one more thing, guys. Right click, uh, run as, uh, run configuration. Okay. Just say run configuration, guys. Here, project is selected as tutorial ninja, and in that feature path, is it there correctly? Login dot feature is there. Okay. Everything run. Click on run. What will happen? Still the same error is coming, guys. Class not found. Uh, the exception is coming. Okay. So why we are getting this kind of exception known as class not found uh, exception? The reason may be different, guys. You see, we have installed Cucumber Eclipse IDE plugin, but uh, we have not installed, okay? But we have not installed, uh, we have not configured this project with the Cucumber libraries, okay? So uh, in the next session, okay, in the next session, I'll be showing you, okay? I don't want to cover everything in the same session. So these are short sessions. I just showed you in this session how to create the uh, how to create scenarios in the feature file 
but when you are trying to run them, you are getting this class uh, not found exception. To resolve that, we have to add the libraries to this project, guys. Okay, we have to add the libraries. By default, this Maven Java project is coming with only the Java library. So apart from that, we also have to add Kumba related libraries. Okay, so that we can run this uh, feature file and then get some something out of that. Okay, that I'm going to show you in the next session. Okay. So that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, I'm showing I'll I'll show you how to add the libraries of Cucumber, okay, to the project. And then I'll show you how to run them and how to proceed further. Okay. We are going step by step based on our requirement only. We are going our steps. Okay. So in this session, we mainly covered how to create the scenarios in the feature file. When trying trying to run them, we are getting some class not found exception that we are going to resolve in the next session. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.